Hey there, this is Camille Garnia, your digital marketing strategist for modern women entrepreneurs who want to get seen and get paid online doing what they do best. And I've gotten a lot of questions from people about Facebook and how to really maximize uh, the performance off Facebook and really how to tie in Facebook into your business growth. So obviously there's been a lot of, you know, just in general, a lot of discussion around whether people should be getting rid of their pages, if they should still be uh, focusing on Facebook as a channel. Um, And obviously, you know, there's no one size fits all uh, solution for everybody. Every business is different. But um, first of all, I will say, I don't think you should leave Facebook if you are currently using Facebook. I I think it'd be a silly mistake to do because it still allows you to do a lot of really amazing things. And having said that, I wanted to tell you a couple of things that you can do on Facebook to really maximize its impact on your business, okay? So um, let's just get down right to it. So first of all, uh, play around with videos. So on your Facebook pages, uh, videos have been really uh, getting a lot more organic reach than anything else. Obviously, pictures are still doing really great. Uh, Links are not not as great. Uh, Text images or text posts are still doing quite well too. Um, But the thing that they really want us to do the most is, you know, they're trying to kind of beat YouTube. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but uh, they really, Facebook really wants us to use their um, organic, their native video, uh, you know, just video uh, posts. So upload a post to, uh, upload a video to Facebook, to your Facebook page, and notice that you'll get a lot more organic reach than you would otherwise. Similarly with Facebook ads that are video focused, they tend to get, all, you know, you, you don't have to pay very much, um, especially if you're using the power editor, you don't have to be paying that much money for views and, you know, you're getting your message across. So people, you know, it's really great. Plus, you know, a lot of people still have the autoplay thing turned on. So like you start and you know, if it's a really engaging video, people see it on their news feed. Uh, it's a little disruptive, but it still definitely works. So definitely, uh, you know, play around with that. Um, another thing is uh, making sure that you're using Facebook for, uh, you know, with a certain purpose. So with a goal in mind. Uh, that goal in mind should probably be, for most of you, is to grow your list. Obviously, Facebook is not an owned channel. But when I say owned, it mean, I mean, you don't own Facebook. You don't really have control over what happens with it. So if you build in a gigantic community on Facebook and then all of a sudden Facebook decides to go away tomorrow, those people are gone. That's why I like to use Facebook and really any social channel to direct all these people onto my email list. And that is really the way that I really recommend for you to use that um, as well. Obviously, you know, continue connecting with people on a personal basis and stuff, but still have that goal of growing your list and using Facebook with that purpose or with, you know, as a support for that main goal of list growth. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, third thing I would say is play around with Facebook ads. So I kind of talked about Facebook ads a little bit already, but you know, Facebook is not free. It's, you know, it used to be free. Great. People used to be able to see our posts, like no problem. It's not the case anymore. Uh, our organic reach is at the lowest it's ever been. And that's understandable. You know, they want to make money too, <laughs> even though they're making a lot of money already. But it's still one of the cheapest ways to um, to do advertising on any digital channel. And it's also the easiest to understand. You know, I've done all the social media (laughs) advertising platforms, Pinterest, Twitter, uh, all of them. Um, Facebook is still the easiest. It's the best targeting. Uh, You can really get down to nitty gritty of who you want to make sure sees your ads. So this is super, super valuable. So make sure that you play around with ads. Uh, Obviously, make sure that there is a potential ROI associated with them. Uh, Don't just blow money just to blow money. It has to make sense for you. So make sure you have a strategy in place to, uh, you know, have it all set out and in a systematic way. So yeah, so Play around with Facebook ads, love them, do them all the time, pretty much every single day for myself and my clients. So uh, check it out. Um, Another thing I would say is to check out Facebook groups. Um, One thing I will say, don't go spamming in Facebook groups because everybody hates a troll. Don't be one. But definitely try to connect with people on Facebook groups, uh, make connections. It's really great for partnerships, for JV opportunities. Uh, Some groups do allow promotions on certain days. Sometimes it's all the time. So it's definitely a great way to play around with and see if this could give you some results. Um, Obviously, I would totally strongly suggest... um, 
um, to not go in and just link dump. So like throwing your promos all over the place because people are going to see that and they're not going to see you favorably. So really be like a normal person when you go to a party and like introduce yourself, uh, be a friend, talk to them and learn, learn a little bit about, about them first, um, give some support. And then, you know, when it's appropriate, Tell them what you do and maybe they'll be interested in your freebie or your product or whatever it is that you have going on. So that's those are the four things that I wanted to cover right now. Um, a bonus tip would be to use your profile as well for marketing. And this is not going to apply to everybody. It applies to me because I obviously have a personal brand and you know I'm a consultant. So uh, I really use my personal Facebook just as much as my page to connect with people. I have a lot of friends on my Facebook page, on my profile, that are my potential ideal clients also entrepreneurs and you know people I potentially would work with so I don't really you know I don't have an issue with promoting my stuff I don't use it as much but I honestly have shifted from using it for personal reasons to more of a business focus and that's just my my um, personal my personal preference there if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that that's totally fine um, it's gonna be up to you if you want to be the face of your business or not I work with people that tend to want to be the face of their business so if that's you, awesome. Um, if not, that's fine. That's still okay. Um, and you're still going to learn a lot just from, you know, going through my blog and stuff. But yeah, cool. So I hope that these five tips will help you really get the most uh, results and just the more, most impact from Facebook for your business. So I'd love to see if you have any other tips that you would like to share with people and which of these tips you are currently not doing that you think you want to play around with a little bit more. So let me know in the comments and I will see you uh, on the flip side. Thanks.